today we have the Atari 2600 here and we are gonna do a composite mod on this thing. So, if you know the 2600 here, you will know that there is really absolutely no option other than the built-in RF cable which really you <laughs> I think we've gone past that stage now, unless you're using a really old, you know, CRD. So, what we're gonna do is put a composite mod on this thing, and um, to do that, we're gonna have to first put this aside, we don't need this right now, and we're gonna have a look at this circuit here. Okay, so this is Maddie from the future. Ooh, I'm messing up with time here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a circuit which I kind of like, you know, got from the internet. I, I created this diagram out of a PCB, a crude PCB drawing. So, you know, it's kind of a crude drawing in itself. Yeah, don't do this just for you building a circuit. What you need to do is just like, you know, organize this and set it out so that it is like this. Okay, now this is how I should have set out the circuit diagram before even building. Now. I know I'm a visual person. Now I know all what all the components are doing. <laughs> so, yeah, this thing here, this these two resistors here, they are set up as a voltage divider and um, they are biasing this transistor here. Now that is the video in going into the base and the emitter, this is the video out coming out of here. And that's basically all it is. The transistor is a general purpose 2N3904 transistor. However, I did not have one of those, so I just you know used it to win double four zero one, which is again a general purple purple, purple transistor. <laughs> general purpose transistor, which kind of like you know has um, a very diff very small difference in properties, so you can just like you know, substitute it. No. <laughs> Um, just, just make sure, if you're going to substitute them, make sure on the data sheets that this is how they're set out. Okay, so this resistor here, I've uh, it's optional. I've added here. The original circuit just did not have it there. Uh, however, I've read that you know if your composite signal is just way too bright, you can add a 70 ohm resistor here, which I have done. However, this makes more sense to me because this is a stabilization or stabilizing resistor. Uh, it's part of the biasing of this transistor here. So I think it's better in there than not. Um, or you can just like you know, increase the value or something like this, just to kind of you know. Just to see how the output is. So now I will switch back to the present moment where I start building the circuit. Okay, so first things first, um, we want to start with the transistor and I think putting at the end will be, you know, better. And uh, let's space it out, you know, every other hole. Now we have the emitter on this side, in the middle we have the base, and then we have the collector here. The emitter is actually the video out, so what we want to do is just uh, put a terminal pin. I have them out here, it's like a little bag of terminal pins. <laughs> so we put them, uh, we just put a terminal pin you know, next to the emitter and just join them up together. do next is on the base we want to connect it to um, the 2k2 resistor now we don't have a 3k3 so what I've just done is got another 2k2 and I'm gonna series it with a 1k so we got close to you know 3k3 so yeah that's the best I can do so let's get uh, the B here the base and link it to a 2k2 Actually, let me just see if I've got smaller one of these, because it's that pretty freaking huge. <laughs> so that is the emitter there. Emitter has got the output video output pin. And uh, we just need from the base, which is the middle, uh, going to the collector, which is the end one. So let's just put one there. Just put it 
Now again, it's going from the base, and parallel to this, um, base to the um, ground. So let's, and then series with that. Now at the tip of this, at the edge of this, that is going to be ground. As you can see from there, it goes close to ground here. So let's put a ground pin here, the terminal pins. What else do we need? Yeah, that capacitor. So where does the capacitor go? The capacitor is like, you know, purely optional, but I recommend putting it in anyway. You know, it's a decoupling capacitor and... So the other end of the 2.2K resistor, which is, you know, here. That, the collector, which is there, and the capacitor, which is here. Those connect to the positive. So let's put a, another terminal pin there, and that'll be the positive. I think the negative, yeah, the negative is going to need um, two more terminal pins there because uh, we're going to connect like two more things to it, I think. Very spaced out circuit, it's not, you know, compact or anything. <laughs> now, the video in. Now, the video in is at the base of it, so it's going to be over here. So that's the video in. So let's put another terminal pin there. Okay, so two more terminal pins near ground, so we need three terminal pins for ground. We have our little circuit over here. That pin you can see there, that is plus false. This emitter, this emitter pin here, that is uh, video out. Now this pin here, this connects to the base, that is video in. And uh, these three, all three of them are going to be connected together and they're ground. So ground for each thing, ground for the power and the video. In and out. And that's it. It's a simple little amplifier circuit. Very basic amplifier. So now we take a quick sip of tea and we start to solder this thing. Now this here, this leg here and this leg here, that's the capacitor. Now this is the negative of the capacitor. Let me double check that actually. <laughs> Make sure that, yeah, that's the negative. What we need to do is just first of all solder the capacitor in. Okay. Yep. Now this is that resistor that um, 3K3 resistor. Let's solder that in over here. Now the leg of the capacitor, you can see here, we're folding it down on top of these pins, yeah? So it just makes a connection. So we just kind of join that onto these terminal pins, these three terminal pins here. Just cut the um, excess off, the legs and stuff. We have this, we've joined these two together. So here is the video in pin. What we want to do is put some solder on that and connect it to this. So let's put connect some wires on this thing. In fact, let's just you know, make the circuit small. We don't need this big freaking thing here. <laughs> just recycle the rest of it. Okay, that's how I do it. Put a plier here like that, and I use the cutters to do that, and that's it. Okay, so I've just discovered that I no longer have any RCA sockets left. So I'm gonna have to, I've just put an order in for a few, so they're gonna come in a few days. So what I'll do until then, I hate this situation. <laughs> I wanted this over and done with. Because, you know, I wanted to use my Atari 2600. Anyway, um, what I've done is I've ordered them and what I'm gonna do now is just like connect the wires here. Negative, I don't know how to black, so we'll use blue for negative or ground. We 
just need video in, which I'm gonna choose to make this white one be video in, and the yellow one will be video out. Okay, so we got the video in, and now the yellow, for video out, and we're done with whatever we can do so far. <laughs> Up here, five volts in, which is together with the uh, ground. Then we have video in with ground. Then we have video out with ground. So perfect. Now, reason for the update is that my freaking resistoroids, <laughs> my resistoroids have arrived, and um, I basically ordered a 3.3k. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this freaking monstrosity here. I'm gonna like, uh, you know, where I've joined two resistors together in series, trying to, you know, add it up to 3.3k. I'm gonna, uh, you know, d um, cut these out and just put it, you know, normal, like in 3.3k one in here. So yeah, let's begin with that. Now. Okay, so 3k3 here. That's a nice, gorgeous blue, isn't it? It's my favorite blue. What I'm going to do here is this is the 75 ohm resistor and that is going to go from the output which is this yellow wire and to ground because okay, so here is where that 75 ohm resistor begins. sure you cut the excess leg off because you don't want it to bend around and create a short somewhere. So everything is good now. And there it is built. And since I haven't received my RCA sockets uh, still yet, what I'm going to do is just, you know, call it a day for now. And in the next part, it's going to be the, you know, the actual opening the 2600 up, seeing what goodies are inside it and how it is. And also, you know, connecting this thing up inside and testing it out. So that's all for today. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. For now, I will say adios. I would like to say a big thank you to my patrons, James Burr, GadgetUK164, Robert Minnis, Casual Commodore, Sophie Leroy, Hazemaker, Sean O'Keefe, Rudiger Stiedel, Al Hunt, Cameron Armstrong, Rafi Otterstein and Linus Johansson. If you wish to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description below as well as links to my patrons' websites or YouTube channels.